Hi, I'm Christine Elizabeth. Thank you for joining the channel today. Today, I just want to tell you a little bit of a story of something that happened in my life recently. It was really interesting and it really showed me something that I, I see in life all the time, in my own life, all the time. I was on my way out to water a garden. My son and I planted earlier this year. It's a fruit and vegetable garden, which is really awesome. And when I was on my way out, I was opening my screen door. And uh, I, what I noticed at the beginning of the week is there was a little bit of something coming out of the ground. Now we have these beautiful and somewhat annoying bushes that seed a lot. So I just saw this little nub. I was like, okay, I have to take care of that because otherwise it's going to grow into a bush and that won't allow me to open my door. So that's not a good thing. So I noticed it at the beginning of the week, later in the week, at the very end, it had already gotten pretty substantial. And I thought, wow, I really have to address this pretty quickly. So I went out, checked on the garden, tended to the garden a little bit. And then when I came back, I, I had some tools that were um, right there, readily available. But as I grab my scissor and I mean, don't, don't judge me. I'm, <laughs> I'll show you the tools that I tried to use. It was a needle nose plier and a pair of scissors. It was not going to cut down. This thing was hardy. And I'll show you a picture of that too. So I grabbed those. And before I even try anything, I'm like, this is not going to work. And I remembered that I had a tool that I had bought at a consignment shop a couple months ago because when we were planning on growing the garden, I thought, well, we should have some tools. So we had some basic tools, but I remember seeing this and I thought, well, that'd be a really good tool to have. And it was what, two bucks. So sure, why not? So I went and I get and I got it and I'll show you this picture here. And I just started hacking away at it, right? So just hit it, hit it, hit it in the same area. And I would say that the the stalk of it was about this thick because once I started pulling up, I could see that what I saw on the surface was just a little bitty thing, but the, the width of the stalk got thicker as it went down. So by time, I mean, it was probably a half dollar size which nobody uses half dollars anymore. So it was about this big, <laughs> um, where the top, it was itty bitty. It was maybe the size of a dime, the, the circumference of a dime. So hack, hack, hack. And then I, I go and I'm like, oh, okay, it's ready. So I go to pull it out of the ground and I see that it is not detached, but it is loosened. And I pull up more and I pull up more and it's got this huge root system. It even, there was a, um, a stone slab and not not a one that was attached but it was a loose stone slab and it was under there and when i was pulling up the roots it was even lifting that so it went far and they were strong roots so i'm pulling it up and i'm like oh my gosh but i wasn't going to stop because i could see how much damage it could do it could prevent me from opening my my screen door and stop me from enjoying the outdoors stop me from tending to the garden which i'm i'm starting to fall in love with doing so I'm, I'm pulling this out I finally get it to the point where now like I'm outside I'm, I had to reposition because the, the root system was extensive so I got the whole thing up and here's what it looked like so as you can see in this picture now it it broke in half and I kept going after the second part of the root system because I didn't want any of it to be able to regrow so it was just so magnificent. I circled in blue where you can see what was peeking out of the ground and everything else. I mean, it was a good two, maybe three feet of root system. So as I did this, as I dug, as I reflected on the tools that were readily available, which were really insufficient and reflected on what I had had in preparation, which I really felt like God prepared me for this, uh, because that tool literally had been sitting, not that this is a great place for it, but it had been sitting in, in my office ever since I bought it. So here's how that applies to my life. Here's how it helped me to reflect on my life. Sometimes I see something in my life that it's a problem. It's not a major problem. 
it's not preventing anything from happening at this point, but I can see it. I can say like, I gotta deal with that at some point. You know, maybe it's as simple as like, you know what? I really got out of the habit, which is a good habit of taking care of my teeth, flossing my teeth, brushing my teeth, um, using mouthwash, like really taking care of my teeth, which are bones, fun fact, did not know that. Felt very gypped of the 40 some years <laughs> that I did not know that teeth were bones. Um, or it might be something as like, you know, I, I've some other self care, even taking care of my car, right? Maybe, maybe I'm just letting it get out of hand, but that's all a reflection of other things. What is getting out of control in my life? Now it could be in a relationship. So those are interpersonal. When I talk about relationships, I'm like, you know, I see that maybe so-and-so and I aren't talking a lot, you know, or I, I see that the situation that happened that caused us a little stress, it, that stress hasn't gone away and it's created this, this kind of anxiety or maybe there's bitterness there. It has to be addressed. So at some point, what happens if we don't address it, if we don't make plans to address it, then it's going to take con control. It's going to grow the way it wants to grow. And we don't want that. We do not like when that happens, when we are stopped in our life from doing what we want to do. We don't like that. Nobody likes that. And oftentimes we just sit there and say, like, I didn't do anything, but I did see, you know, months back that this was starting to uh, starting to grow. So then here comes the second part about the tools that we use. A lot of times we have tools that may, may be tucked away. Maybe I have a, a book on conflict resolution. Maybe I had a conversation about conflict, conflict resolution. Maybe I know somebody in my inner circle who I know has a skill that I'm lacking in and I would benefit from, even if it was, if it was like, Oh, let me, can I pay you to coach me through or walk me through how to um, better myself in this way? Or maybe it's a relational coach, therapist, um, counselor, pastor, whatever it is. So here's the whole point. If you see something, and we should always be looking, we should tend to the things that are important to us. If our life is important, then we should start tending to it and paying attention to every little detail that's in our life. Is this benefiting me? Is this hurting me? Because everything that's in our life, everything that we give space in our mind to will grow some sort of fruit. If it's good or if it's bad for us, it's going to produce something. And we can see that we can look back if we if we look back in our life, hindsight is such a gift. And many people call that and don't recognize that that's actually wisdom to look back and reflect. So when I share this with you, when I share it in my own life, it's because I can see things that I know have this little stem and are starting to prevent me from doing certain things. And I know that I need something, some help. Uh, maybe I have a tool, maybe it's a book in, on my bookshelf, or maybe it's a YouTube video that I saw in the past, or maybe it's somebody that I had a conversation with. I know that there are people and resources and there's such a surplus of knowledge. And there's some, so many people who have so much wisdom and surrounding ourselves with those things and people are those tools that we're going to need along our journey. So I hope if there's one thing that you get from me is that your life has value. Everything that you see value, you're going to take care of. What are those things in your life today that are maybe starting to sprout roots? What are those things that are starting to, to put their heads up? Let's not sit and wait to see how they conquer us in our life. Let's be the conquerors. If this was helpful to you, do me a favor and hit the, the like button and subscribe button. That shows me and YouTube that you think this is valuable content and it will put videos of this nature higher up so that it can be seen by those who are looking for hope and help. And if you know somebody who needs this kind of encouragement, hit the share button. The share allows you to send it by text. It allows you to share on your social media. It, there's just no limit. Every time that I'm encouraged, I try to think about who in my life could use this kind of encouragement. So I hope that today 
is a new day that you start seeing the value of your life. I, I hope that you start seeing how to protect your life and to start reviewing your resources, the things that you have and the things that you don't have, and start thinking about how to get what you need. Take care and be well.